The commitment isn't within the goal. The commitment isn't within the outcome. The commitment is within you. You have to commit to yourself. Great day, everyone. I hope whoever is listening to this is having a splendid time. Today, I'm going to be discussing about falling in love with the journey and not giving up. This subject is so, so important to always talk about and to always remind ourselves about because the journey gets hard. It gets so hard and that's why people give up so easily. See, there is no manual, no physical contract listing out every single challenge that we will endure before getting our promise, before getting our dream desires and goals. 98% of people give up before they even see anything come into fruition, leaving the 2% to stay until it's here. So how do you fall in love with the journey? What I've learned is that you need to fall in love with becoming. You need to fall in love with the growth process. Realize that if you've been actively pursuing your desires and your goals, it's only bound that you will see results, whether it be something super small or something very massive. You have to learn how to track and reflect on your growth process, whether it's internal or external, because when you do that, you will then become grateful. You will then realize, oh, this is actually working, even though you're not seeing what you want to see. A lot of people only credit the big milestones and do not realize that the small milestones are just as important, hence myself. You and I have to realize that once we get there within moments within moments guys our brain is wired to be like what's next we are never satisfied realize that our bodies are always wanting more and here's something to think about let's just say that maybe and i don't want to use the word chasing because i don't really like that word but i'm just going to use that word just for time's sake and to get to the point, what if you are actually chasing your goal for a purpose to change your life and to change your family's life and maybe even the world? But let's take a moment to get deep and dissect the real issue here. What if you are actually chasing an emotion, a feeling of what you think the outcome will bring and not the goal? I know I've been here and you've probably been here also. Sometimes we get what we thought we wanted and once it's here, we're like, what in the world? This is not what I asked for. This is, this looks nothing like how I imagined it to be. And then we end up being disappointed or we just say, you know, F this, I'm out. That is why it's so important to cherish each step you take within the process within the journey. The reason why only 2% of people get what they actually want is because they realize that they had to commit to the process and not the outcome. When you commit to the process, you are actually committing to you because within the process requires transformation and without transformation there will be no completion and that's where things get complicated because nobody wants to sacrifice their old self to their new self because it's intimidating it's painful and it's very much uncomfortable you need to ask yourself What will it cost you to get what you want? See, I've been doing this YouTube thing for two years straight, like two years consistently, every single week, posting minimum one video. And by now, by now, within all the consistency, 
you know, I would expect that I would have the subscribers. I would have the views and all these things, but, but I don't. I still have the subscribers and the views, but not what I envision. But I'm not letting the negative thinking get in the way because I am actually growing. Maybe it might not be exponential growth, microwave results growth, but I'm growing. I'm getting more views. I'm getting more subscribers. And that's when we need to realize the steps we're taking to the mountain. You see, we don't have, you see, you need to take off your blindfold and see that you are moving up it might be slow but you're still moving up and that's the only thing that matters because within due time like i said it's bound for you to get what you want that's just how life works if you're putting in the work and you're not giving up and you're still having faith what makes you think that you won't get what you want maybe it's not on your timing maybe it's not what you want but realize that God has a bigger plan. Realize everything is under God's timing. And that's when we need to learn how to be patient. And that's when we need to learn what we can do right now to utilize everything that we have and to become this person that is ready, that won't fuck up their dreams, their goals, that will be prepared for when it comes you won't get sidetracked for when it comes you'll take it like it's already here you'll take it like it's it's always been yours it, like it was just waiting for you and this is also where we need to take off our selfish glasses our selfish lens right Let, let's just take it off because it needs to be off of us and we need to realize that the outcome isn't about us the outcome isn't about me the outcome isn't about you it's not about what you will get it's about the future people it's about who you will and who you are inspiring if you think about it all the people that have achieved their goals and dreams they're only a byproduct of who they used to be they're only an example of what it looks like to get from the dirt, to run through the fire and make it into the fresh, clean water. And within those stories, doesn't it inspire you? It inspires me to keep moving forward, to keep going. You see, if we all were focused and if we all stuck through the dirt, dirt and if we all just kept going even if it's hard even if you have not seen any kind of results like zero and we just kept going we kept seeking faith we kept we kept on dreaming don't you think the world would be in a better place don't you think we as humans would be in a mentally emotionally physical better space because all in all we said f the fear f the uncomfortability we are pushing through the pain because that's what it all that's what it's all about it's all about pushing through the pain and if we all had the courage to do that then, then everything that we want will come to us. You see, in order for a woman to have a child, she has to go through the process. She has to go through the uncomfortability. She has to go through the pain. When it's time to give birth, y'all, I don't know if you ever had a baby before. I never had a baby before, so I do not know how it feels, but I've heard I've heard it's it's more painful. It's like getting a shot. Uh, it's like getting a shot like with by a gun like I heard it's so painful. But within the pain, within the journey, at the end isn't it so beautiful? 
isn't it so beautiful that you birthed something you created something and you have to think about that with your goals when you push through that pain at the end you just birthed something brand new you birthed a new beginning you birthed generational wealth you birth you birth new leaders you birth a new beginning so realize you are exactly where you need to be there's no other place that you think you should be because here right now watching this video you're supposed to be here in this moment because there's things within you that you cannot see that requires work that requires to unlearn to relearn and within that when you allow god to work through you and you collaborate with his plan for your life then that's that's where you will see movement happening that's where you will see transformation coming through you have to be determined. You have to stick to your goal. You have to constantly remind yourself when there's people out there trying to bring you down, trying to make you think like, oh, so you don't have a plan B? What if what if you fail? What if it doesn't happen? Because you know, this, that, the third freaking Billy Bob was in the scene before and it was just so hard for him because it was so competitive and it just didn't work out like what if you become like billy bob you're not billy bob <laughs> you're not you're not like them you have to realize that's not you so stop the comparison stop thinking that you're not worthy enough whenever those thoughts appear realize that it's your birthright to get what you want say in the mirror it's my birthright it's my birthright to have the love it's my birthright to have the financial success it's my birthright to have a successful business it's my birthright to influence leaders and this takes work that's why I said it's not easy, but you have to stay committed. And the commitment isn't within the goal. The commitment isn't within the outcome. The commitment is within you. You have to commit to yourself. After watching this video, grab a pencil, grab a pen, grab, grab something to write with and get a blank piece of paper. Open up your journal. Open up your notebook and list out all the things that you're afraid of. List out all the things that make you feel unworthy. Look at those things and remind yourself that this is not you. This might be the stories that people have told you. This might be what you've seen on the other side. But realize realize that what god has for you realize what you see for yourself even even if it's hard to see but what you feel inside what you feel like if you feel like there's something more to this if you feel like this isn't what i'm supposed to be doing realize that those feelings are true realize that those feelings are meant to be felt so you can do something about it and so you can actually live the life that you want to live because we only have one chance we only have one chance out of this and wouldn't it be worth risking it all wouldn't it be worth sacrificing your old self to become your new self to actually live a life of fulfillment of freedom of success because at the end of the day all these things that you're holding on to is temporary and they might not even be helping you with your future it might not even be sustainable for you to become the person that you want to be 
So I hope this podcast inspires you to keep going. I hope this podcast inspires you to start getting uncomfortable. And I hope this helps you start to commit to yourself, to, to commit to the journey and not just what you will get out of it. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantabulous rest of your day of your week and i will talk to y'all next week